very slowly, very gently. Remember, walk carefully because there's snail shells in here. This group of school children on the island of Kauai are helping a local farmer rid his fields of an invasive and highly destructive pest. I'm trying to find apple snails and get them out of the taro. Taro is a root vegetable that's considered a sacred plant in Hawaiian culture and is also a staple in the island's cuisine. Tell us what you're doing. Collecting these. What are those? Snail eggs. By helping remove the eggs from the taro, oh, the sun. these kids are not only helping protect their own food source, but they're also learning valuable life lessons. I think it's important for the kids because it does teach them about the Hawaiian culture, where it all came from. That's why we say it's our responsibility to take care of the taro. And it helps them with just the basic understanding of um, biodiversity. Nature-based activities like this are at the core of a curriculum that is the brainchild of educator Christina Zimmerman. At Earth School Hawaii, our mission is to create children who will be game changers in our world through environmental education, through small group education. You know, we live in a really unique place, being on a small island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. So we really try to cater to the individual child here and the individual needs of our island. Based on the north shore of Kauai, Earth School Hawaii has programs for kindergarten through eighth grade. So our goal is taking our entire school day and focusing in on environmental education and teaching the language arts and the maths and the science and all the common cores through environmental concepts. By partnering with local organizations, the school is able to provide a true hands-on approach to learning. We're okay, doing crab traps, that's the chicken. We work with a lot of other nonprofits on the island who are also doing amazing things here. Um, and we try to get the kids involved and out and doing as much as possible. We've never done this, so. Okay. If you let some of your rope out like this, and you just grab your trap like this, and you can kind of toss it gently like that. Okay. The crab traps is a way to give them some tools with tying knots and understanding the life and biology of decomposers inside of the stream. Male or female? Um, male. Male. So can we take these ones or no? Are these the ones you can eat? Yeah. Yeah. Then the lesson shifts to resource management and the species of crab that you're catching and size limits and then you know which ones are legal to take. So is that one big enough? I think it's a little shy. A little bit shy. One of the biggest issues in Kauai is the water quality, with high bacteria levels a cause for concern, according to the Surfrider Foundation's Blue Water Task Force. We do a lot of work with Surfrider Kauai, um, and our goal behind that is beach cleanups, but also the water studies, which is huge. We don't have great results a lot in our rivers around here, so it's really important for the kids to learn what causes that to be off. What can we do to help remedy that? And so they chart it, they do all their math studies through it, but also talk about solutions to that. Thank you. This is cool, huh? They are so far ahead of where we were 20, 30, 40 years ago, and they're five and six and seven, and they're just starting. And so in my mind, it's like, what is it gonna be like in 10 years or 20 years with these kids leading us? And that's the focus. We have to take these kids, get them educated at a very, very young age, and I can only imagine what that looks like for our island or our world. But I feel like this has to be the focus. It has to. This is our future.